friends welcome back to my channel so I have another pop Funko review for you as you can see I have the 30th anniversary Little Mermaid pops here um, these range in size um, there's 10 of them there are some larger ones and then there's the normal um, four inch is it four inch or six inch I think it's four inch four inch pops um, so there's 10 of these I'm going to dive right into these so first in the set we have Ariel with her white dress, number 545. This is a um, box lunch exclusive, found this at my local box lunch. Um, so I'm pretty sure this was the scene where, I haven't seen this movie in years, so don't quote me, when she talked to Ursula and she agreed to um, have human legs. Um, this is when she came out of the sea and she had her dress on, really cute pop. I love how her hair looks like it's blowing in the wind. And the dress is very detailed as well. There's a rope on it and everything. There's a hole in the back. Um, I don't know if you could tell that's really detailed as well. Um, but this is a really cool one. I'm really glad I found this in my box lunch. So that is the first one in the set. So next in the set, we have number 546. Probably one of the coolest in the set. I think this whole set is really cool, but this one, the detail is just crazy. Um, so we have um, the kiss the girl scene. We have Eric and Ariel in the boat. We have Sebastian here and Flounder here with some fishes blowing water out of their mouths. And there's some um, plants here. I just think this looks so cool. I love her bow in the background. Um, I found this at a local Comic Con. I spent 40 on it. I'm not sure what the retail price is, but this one is just, it's so cool. Um, I don't know if this is considered like a pop ride, um, but I just love this so much. Definitely my favorite scene in the entire movie. Um, and this is also a Target exclusive, so you can either find it at Target or at a local Comic Con like I did. Um, but this one is just super, super cool. It's really heavy. Um, I just love it so much. There's lily pads on there. Um, it's just so cool. This one's amazing. So next in the set we have number 563. Um, this is a different set because um, these boxes were all pink. Um, this is just Ariel with her little bag. Pretty sure it's the part where she sings part of your world. Um, something about I love about this pop is that the base is blue. Normally um, pop bases are just like a clear color. I really like how it's blue. I think that's a nice touch because she's under the sea. Um, she has her mermaid tail. Um, this one's pretty simple, but I really like it a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure I got most of these ones at GameStop. Um, they were doing a sale. I think it was three for 25. So I definitely wanted to pick these up. Um, but this one's just super cool. I love this pop. So next in the set, we have another Ariel, number 564. Um, pretty similar to the first one, except this time she has her purple dress on. Um, this is towards the end of the movie, right before the wedding, where she comes out of the, the water and she embraces Eric. Um, this one is really cute as well. Um, this one doesn't need a stand though because her dress is flat on the bottom, so it just lays flat. This is another cool one. I like her pose as well. That's unique and I also like how her hair looks, so there's that one. So next in the set we have Prince Eric, number 565. Um, there's really not much to say about this one. I really like this one because Eric's one of my favorite Disney princes. Um, he's holding a little telescope, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, his feet are very flat, so he doesn't really need a stand. Um, his outfit's on point. Um, this one just looks really good next to Ariel. So there's Eric. So next in the set, we have Scuttle, number 566. Um, something I really like about this pop is that he's carrying a fork. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a nice touch. And he also doesn't need a stand because his flippers are really flat, so he just stands up like this. Um, this is a really cute pop. I think him next to Flounder and Sebastian is really adorable. Um, I got one though with a bad paint job. I don't know if you could tell there's like a white little dot on his beak, which sucks. But um, he's a really cute pop. His stomach looks a little chubby. Um, he has feathers on the top and on the back. Um, but yeah, this is another really cute one. So that's Scuttle. So next in this set we have Chef Louis, number 567. This one's really cool as well because, I don't know if you can tell, but he's carrying Sebastian in his hand. If you remember the scene where he chases him throughout the kitchen, that's a really nice touch. And he has some lettuce in the other hand, so that's really cool. Um, this one's pretty heavy. I like his hat. It's I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's really big up here and smooth. And then he has his little bow tie and his apron and his mustache is also a really nice touch. Um, so this one's really cool as well. Um, he didn't get as much screen time as the other characters, but that's alright. I'm really glad they made a pop with him. So that is Chef Louis. So next in the set we have Ursula, number 568. Another really cool one. Um, you might not be able to tell because I'm a little far away, but um, the eels, they each have a different color eye, which was a really good touch. And then on the bottom um, of, her, of her tentacles, they have little suction cups, which I think is really cool. Uh, hopefully you can tell. Um, but this one's really cool as well. Um, she has the mole on her chin, her earrings, and her, her nails are actually um, polished red as well. So this is a really good pop. Um, 
just wait until you see the next one though because that's one that one is insane um but she also has her shell necklace on as well um this is probably one of the most detailed ones in this set i really like it as well so there's there's a lot so next in the set we have the absolute unit <laughs> the 10 inch ursula number 569 um, this, I have a lot of Funko Pops, you guys probably know, but this is actually my first 10 inch pop and she is ridiculous. Um, this pop is just huge. Um, the trident glows in the dark, which is a really nice touch and it, it feels flocked right here. I don't want to like play with it too much because it's a little fragile. Um, but this one, it's super heavy. Her crown looks really good. Um, again, she has a little suction cups under her. Um, her nails are painted, she has the earrings on. This one is just insane. Like, just look at the size comparison compared to the rest. Absolutely love this pop. It's it's such a nice touch, you know? I feel like Disney needs to do more 10 inch pops. I feel like other companies get more of the 10 inch ones, but this one is super cool. I found that at the um, Still City Comic Con, I think I paid 30. Yeah, I paid 30 for her, which I was so happy to see because she was like the last one I was missing in this set, so. This is 10 inch Ursula. Super glad I have this for my collection. So lastly, we have probably my favorite in the set, King Trident. He is number 570. He's a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, I know Ursula is pretty crazy, but I'm gonna have to go with King Trident as my favorite. I don't know why. I just think that something is so cool about this pop. Um, the base is blue, of course, because of the water. He has his trident. Um, there's just something about it. I don't know why. I just think it looks so cool for a Funko Pop. I mean, I know the rest do, but just something about him. I don't know what it is. Um, as soon as he came out, I went to my Hot Topics. I, I knew this one would be a popular one. Um, but he has his crown. His beard looks pretty good. Um, he has his fins here. It's just a really cool pop. Probably my favorite in the set next to the 10 inch Ursula and the kiss the girl scene. Um, this set is just so cute. I love all of these pops. So that is King Trident. So that is the 30th anniversary Pop Funko set of The Little Mermaid. I absolutely love all of these pops. Um, my favorites are gonna go to King Trident, the Kiss the Girl scene, and the 10 inch Ursula. But um, as you can tell, they're all just super, super adorable. I wanna know which one is your favorite. Let me know in the comments below and definitely subscribe to my channel. I post um, fun, uh, Funko reviews and pop hunting with Heather. I love Funko Pops, as you guys know. Um, I do have another pop hunt coming soon. Um, so that's it. Um, if you liked the video, give it a like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!